Hello, this is Julian and you are on Edoblox and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use Remix, the IDE for Solidity, in order to develop your Ethereum smart contract. By the way, I created a free email course to teach you how I got my first remote blockchain job paid $100,000 a year. So if you want to learn all my secrets, you just have to sign up at this URL. First things first, in order to access this IDE, all you have to do is go to this URL in your web browser and that's it. There is absolutely no setup. Remix is an online IDE, so you have absolutely nothing to install. This is super, super convenient. Before we continue, there is a little caveat about Solidity. So if you've watched or read other tutorial about Remix, you might have seen the old layout. So you can still see the old layout if you click on use previous version. So it's going to ask you, do you want to reload the site? Yes and you're going to recognize the old interface blah 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 okay so yeah so the old interface of remix is still accessible however for this tutorial series we're going to use the new interface so i'm going to reload remix in my browser so that i can see the home page again and this time you will see three buttons solidity vipers workshop so actually you can use remix not only for solidity but also for a viper so in this tutorial we're going to deal with solidity so here you have to click on solidity and it's going to set up remix for developing on solidity okay so after you should see this so let's see what are the different parts of the layout here on the left part of the screen, this is basically your menu. So you have different icons and if you click on them, then you will see that the UI will change. So you don't need to understand all the menus, but the most important one, uh, first the file explorer here on top. So that's where you can see all your smart contract. Then here you have your compiler. So there are different versions of Solidity and if you click on the drop down then you can select which version you want. So in general, it's better to use the latest one. So for this series, we're going to teach Solidity 0.5. So all these versions from 0.5.0 will be valid, but 0.4.26, etc. These are too old for us. We're going to keep 0.5.11 now. And if you want, you can manually compile a smart contract. But what is better is to take auto compile here. So that every time you make a change, Remix is going to automatically recompile the contract for you. But generally, you will only access this menu at the beginning of the project when you set up the compiler version. But most of the time, you're going to spend your time here in this menu, the deploy and run transaction. So this menu is how you can deploy your smart contract to the local Ethereum blockchain of Remix and also how you can interact with your smart contract. So we're going to come back to this menu in another video of this series once we know a bit more of Solidity. But the point to understand is that Remix actually run for you a local development blockchain and gives you a nice graphical interface. That basically means that you don't have to do all the complex setup that you see in some uh, Ethereum tutorial where you have to uh, create private key, create an Ethereum network. With Remix you have you don't need to do any of this. Remix already takes care of, of everything. So this is really plug and play. And for the other menu, they're a bit advanced, uh, except for this one. So this one is the plugin manager. So you can actually customize the appearance and functionality of Remix with this menu. So you can see, for example, that we have a couple of plugins that are activated, like deploy and run transaction, Solidity compiler. So you at least you need these two ones to develop. And after, if you scroll down, then you will see some inactive modules uh, that you can activate if you want. Uh, we will explain some of them in future videos, but at the moment, we're just going to uh, stick to the default configuration that you, we got when we click on the Solidity button here. By the way, you might notice that it really looks like the layout of Visual Studio Code. This is not by chance. Visual Studio Code was clearly an inspiration for the new layout of Remix. And I think it works pretty well. So they did a really nice job of improving everything. This is really nice. Then there, we need to go to the File Explorer here. And if you want to actually edit a smart contract, you're going to click on one of the files. So for example, you have some example smart contract like ballot.sol. So, oh yeah, by the way, Solidity file and with .sol. So here you'll see this extension. So let me click on that one. 
and here on your right you will see the editor where you can see the code and you can code your smart contract and you have some nice syntax highlighting and since it is recompile every time you change something then if there is an error then you will sit here in uh, in the gutter so if you uh, if you go over the cross then you can see the parser error so uh, this is very very convenient uh, when you develop, you don't have to manually save the file and recompile. You just can use the syntax highlighter. Uh, and this is a really nice developer experience. All right, so in this video, we're not actually going to deploy smart contract and interact with them. This is still a bit too early, but I just wanted to give you a general idea of what is Remix and what are the different parts and, and how you navigate. And also remember that there are two different layouts, the old one and the new one. So make sure you are using the new one. That's it for this video. We're going to stop here. And in the next video, I'm going to teach you what is the basic layout of a Solidity smart contract.